Hello! Uh, I've not done a super special fucking fun time unboxing in a while, and that's because there's been nothing super special to unbox. But I've got something now, and i got friends. See, here they are. It's Tom's Movies Monthly, and it's MC Cully. Open this shit. And today, I got this cardboard box in the mail. I had to pay uh, a 20 odd pound in customs fees on top of the already very, very hefty monies. So we got this in the mail after the uh, 20 odd pound fees. Um, you know what, it costs a lot to, to bring stuff into this country. It's, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, sometimes I think it's probably worth it because every now and then there's a record that's being made from two rappers that are fucking great and you just and they're meant to be meant to be a group or they were thinking about being a group and then one of them gets like kidney failure and they have to go and get surgery and shit and it's, it puts the record on hold and just waiting even longer and you're thinking god damn please get better and then he gets better and then they go out and they make the record and eventually you get a box in the post and it's great great news that brings us, brings us to opening the box. There goes the big brown confetti. Oh, what an incredible story and a build up. I wow. know, I know, I do, I do what I can. Now there are a couple of other bits that I've got in here because I thought, you know what, while I'm on the Doom Tree store, let's play. Uh, so I picked up this uh, the Sims record, which uh, which I I was I wasn't actually when when I first heard about this, I wasn't particularly sold on, uh, but recently. I am so into this fucking album, I thought, yes, I will buy that. I'm just very sad that I missed the opportunity to get Super Special Edition at the time, because I didn't like it then. I like it now. And I missed out on a lot of cool shit. Uh, additionally, the other thing that's in this box that isn't part of this order, uh, the big super box, is this uh, little... Uh, Little baby, little baby vinyl. It's white. Now they did have a shitload of different colours, but this is this is the one that was left. Is that what they call a 45? It is. Mm, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. So they had uh, they had the basic black vinyl and they had the white vinyl, and I thought, well, of course I'm going to go for the white one because I wanted I wanted something that's not basic vinyl. So I got I got the, the no no. There's a question. Would you play that one? A record player. Little, <laughs> the needle can move closer. Uh, it can, you know yeah, how yeah. you know how on a big vinyl, right? Yeah, it, it moves yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, you can put it there, and it it, it will in fact play oh, inside. <laughs> That's how. Introducing MC Cully to the world of music. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So now we get to the actual the actual thing. So what we got here is the 666 Four Fist CD and LP collector's bundle. So we got all of the shit in nya, including what's it called again? The 666 Four Fist collector's bundle. Sweet. So this right here, this is a slip map for my record player, which I'm yet to purchase. <laughs> Sits on there. It sits upon, and it makes it and a beautiful soft layer yeah. for the for the vinyl to sit upon. Now, I'm not sure that I'm ever going to use this because I've got one already. Well, you've got it. I know I've got this, but I've got another one over there. Mm. I've got a Ram City as a 20 year one. However, I don't have this big old square poster, and you were asking earlier, they better be signed up and shit. Here we have Astronautless. He signed it up, and POS. And signed it up, and I can authenticate these signatures for they have signed things for me before. For I've met them both, lovely fellows. Yep, there's definite pen strokes. Definite pen strokes. Definite pen strokes. What else we got? Let's flip the old. Let's go into Fred Durst mode. Darling, darling. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I uh, part part of this was getting a postcard. It's a postcard. It's a postcard. Um. But because I order things online with like my bank account, so I have to go by my government name. So unfortunately, it's addressed to William Mannings. That ain't the J crazy you guys know. But it is again signed POS. I should not listen. There's a lovely doodle. That's a picture of a cock. That's a picture of a cock. That's a fucking cock. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Get closer, get closer. Get up, get up in the Tom cam. You show us. Feel free to come in. 
Show, show me where the cock is. <laughs> here we have the balland here, and there we have the, the tip here. Or well, the helmet, as you were. The helmet, yeah. Here we have the start of the fuzz at the beginning of the shaft. Here we have two massive hairpy sores. <laughs> we there's weeping. You can there's, see that it's there's, weeping. There's a puss weeping. So yeah, we have a nice, a nice big cock. <laughs> I just ruined it for her. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's not a cock, it's a scary... Steph, I'm so sorry. Did, did you draw that? Ghost cock. <laughs> I'm going to say that Steph drew that because of the, the penmanship. That seems thicker and the lineage here is thin which matches the drawing. So thank you POS for your lovely drawing that he thinks is a weeping source penis. My favourite! Uh, okay, right. Let's... Yeah, let's, let's do the CD. So, the CD. Again, there you go, more signatures. See, I told you there's at least three. Uh, do you want to get some feels on that? Because that's really mental. That's like proper like paper, matte shit. I've never had a record that feels like that. That's definitely real. I need to move the box for this camera to work better. And of course it's fucking real. Oh, careful, because we got a little stick sticker. That's going to end up on the fridge. I'll take that. No, you fucking won't, son. Sorry. That's going to go end up on the fridge with all the other stickers. This one. Yeah. What do you reckon? Probably here, wherever, whatever that was. Wherever there's there. a space. There. Yeah, I mean, we're running out of space in a big way right now. It ain't great. You're still touching up the record. Are you all right there? Just make sure it's real. All right, so it's got double insert. So, within. I only do double insert. A booklet. With we got lyrics. I heard you, that's very good. There's some lovely, lovely drawing. Drawing. Possibly painting. Art and painting. There's 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 some shit going on in here. Hello. Oh, join join me here. Join me here. Stuff shoulder. Stuff. Stuff. That's lovely. Yep. There's some. That's a photograph of some stuff. That's, that's some felt tips if ever I saw them. This, more, more, lots of stuff. It's lovely, it's lovely is what I'm saying. I'm gonna pop that back in there. So <laughs> where, we're gonna try. where did you order this and how long did it take to come? You know what, I'm a pre-order kind of guy. Um, it, I don't know, from release to getting here, a couple of weeks maybe. Not so bad. You know what? I'm pretty sure this came out after the latest Atmosphere record, but got here before. But then at the same time, I did also pre-order the Dem Atlas record, so that was bundled in, and that came out after this. So that's probably the reason for the delay. Anyway, the disc looks like this, which is nice. It's got some uh, good art going on there. It's also very felt penny. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange, yeah, no, no. So that's the CD. What else we got? Are you ready for the fourth signature of the show? Because here it is, everybody. It's the big ass vinyl. Now I'll be honest. When I pre-ordered this, I was talking to my friends, uh, Adam, Michael, and Stacy, and I said. I'm about to spend a lot of money on music. Stop me. And they said, do it, do it, do it. So I did. Um, and I was on the Doomtree website and I had a couple of things, you know how I do. I wasn't really paying attention. And I thought, oh well, this one must be the one. I wasn't paying attention to the fact there were like six other versions of the record you could buy. So I ended up just buying the most expensive one. Yeah. But you know what? I'm me and I'm very glad that I did because. <coughs> taste the vinyl! Taste the vinyl! Taste the vinyl! What? Oh, I'm skipping over uh, a vital detail mm -hmm. in the unboxing process. Yeah, what? Of, of telling the fine people how much this cost. This cost me $99.99. Uh, plus postage, which was probably about another 40 bucks. England. Anyway, the point is, we have the rooms continue because it's the bigger booklet show. It is as well. Look, bigger and floppier, just like Collie's dick. Bigger and floppier. 
So, here it is. Come with me now! Oh, sorry. Let's get right in there. It's exactly the same as the CD one, but much bigger and much more buckler. And that's a word that you can take to the bank. It is literally exactly the same. Can't just cash it, but you can take it in. Huge. Take it in. Beautiful. It's, it's, it's really nice. I really like like the old typewriter shit that's going on here, like knackered photo photocopier. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. that's cool. I like that. Nice. And the weird art, like photograph, photograph into painting. Beautiful. Very clever. Very nice. I don't fully understand what the fuck the art scheme is here, but you know what? It's fun. It's like child learning to draw. I think it's probably a bit more advanced than that. I know, it's past your bedtime, poor baby. That's a cool one, yeah. So what we got here, that's probably painting of skeleton, but that's a photo of some flame shit. I think that's what I'm seeing there. It's open to interpretation, but I think that's what it is. It's art. I mean, by all means, if you Except know, that last then tell me I'm right. Just a rose. Yeah, that was clearly just a rose. Now I need to try and. That went a lot easier than the CD one did. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now. That's always my favourite part of, of having a vinyl is taking a vinyl out of the sleeve and just having a little look. You know, I was I was literally about to complain about the fact that it's not a fun vinyl, but I've not seen a regular vinyl in so long that that still really excites me. Look at the perfect lines. You see, like the deep grooves where it's whew, fucking dog air, where shit kicks off, and the 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 dips between the tracks. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells like all my future hopes and dreams. Yo, look at this! Look at this! Look at all where the wax is like, like come out from the fucking where they pushed it through the hole when it's been warm. That's that's cool. You know, I I don't know if is that regular for vinyl. I mean, I own a lot of vinyl. I've seen a lot of vinyl, but I've never paid that much attention to the holes before. That's his job. That's what he does. I check out the holes. Check out Mache Deco on Instagram, Facebook, not Google Plus. He's big into the holes. Deep. Right, we're coming to the we're coming to the, the final moments of this. This is this is one that I've been looking forward to. What's this? This is a candle, right? Oh. I'm looking forward to having this out for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is our Halloween party. Uh, at time of recording for 2018. And I really don't want to fucking. I, I don't want to untape this, but I feel I'm gonna have to. Necessary. Oh, it's scented. I doubt it. It's just. It's just a calendar. It, calendar. It's a candle with cool art, which is clearly just a sticker, really. But it's fun. <coughs> it's spooky. Always held a candle for you. Oh, for, for you? For whoever. Whoever's gonna grab it. Okay. Oh. Give it! I've got the candle. For me? Yeah, boy. That's nice. It's candle, plain white. That's a $50 warning. candle you're holding there. I like the fact that I'm holding this candle. It says warning to prevent fire. That is indeed the point of a candle, kind of. It's not, not entirely central. Is it a flame retard candle? A spooky uh, candle. Do not use it if the glass is chipped. Why? I guess it would make the glass go kaboom. Yeah. Anyway, the point is that's that's kind of cool. That's a cool thing to own, right? So we've got it skulls and shit is what I'm getting at, right? And that's good for Halloween. I'm thinking. I don't need to think. I was I was just looking at the picture. I hadn't appreciated there were words. I was gonna say that's astronaut list and that's POS, but it actually it actually fucking says it. It says it. It says it right there. There's it right there. I should know all this. POS. It's all there for you. I think they're fans of idiots. I know. I know. I don't blame you. Anyway, you. Now, one of my favourite things about this. Don't worry, you got away with it for now. <laughs> one of my favourite things about this, right, is all, all the CDs, like the early CDs you can get a t shirt with, come with the 456 t shirt. Except for the collector's bundle, which comes with a coloured one. Because 
All the other ones have the design of a black tea in white. Whereas the collector's one has it in some glorious oh. colour and there's shit falling out of it. There's more treats wrapped within the t-shirt, yo. There's more treats wrapped within the t-shirt, yo, yo, yo. What we got? What we got? What's he, what's he found? Oh, lighters. There's a lighter right there. Check it. Beautiful. Full fist lighter. What's the other one? Oh shit! No pin badge. No pin badge. It's sixty six. It's gold and it's got cut. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Mmm. 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 Have you covered it all now? I think we got it all. So, yeah. Go out. Immediately. Or if you don't want to go out, if you want to stay in the house, go on Spotify and check out uh, Four Fists because this record exists. But in my house, it exists oh so physically. But with my version, I got so many glorious things. You know? Look at all the glorious things. Yeah. There's some good stuff there. We've had fun. Unreal in really your package. It definitely it exists. We triple checked it, didn't we, Colin? It definitely exists. It fucking exists, motherfucker. I like to shout out uh, Todd Movies Monthly for holding the camera. MC Cully for being in the building. POS and Astronaut Lists Four Fists for finally getting that record together. I'm fucking so happy to have this shit. And also big props to Adam, Mike and Stacey for saying, buy the shit, when I said, I need you to stop me from buying the shit, but they said, buy the shit. Thanks guys. It's been a wonderful unboxing video. I think I've had fun. I don't know if anyone else will have done one of these. And if they haven't, great, because that means more views for me. See you later. Do you think it means that they've been fisted four times consecutively or all at once by four fists? Consecutively? In the comments below?